Hello dears, by the end of this video you are being fully understand about what are the main topics covered by the material management module and its processes and what functions needed to complete these processes. Material management module covers three main topics, which is procurement cycles, inventory management, and invoice verification. By talking about the procurement cycles, we have four main processes, standard cycles, consignment cycle, subcontracting, and self-servicing cycles. The first function to complete the standard cycle processes is called the purchase requisition. Now we will learn how to create, approve, and search about the purchase requisition. Here from the submenu, under the logistics, material management, purchasing, and purchase requisition, we will find the creation of the purchase requisition with the transaction code can be in the command field ME51N. The purchase requisition is the first function can be done on the uh, procurement cycle as the many of the uh, procurement screens the first position screen is split to the uh, three main parts which is be the header and the item overview and the item details the first step to create the purchase position we need to choose our document type which is being purchase position and put the material here which is created before he asked me to put the plant. We define this material to be defined on the plant 1710. He retrieving all the data from the master data of this material master data and asked me about the quantity which is needed to be purchasing. I'll put 15, for example. The purchase group, we defined it as 002 purchase group. Now I can save my purchase position. There is a some warnings message. Material is mainly produced internally. He, this is a warning message. I can uh, I can process in my purchase requisition with it. The header of the purchase requisition only have the text, and the item overview have the materials uh, specs and the material numbers. The item details have the detailed data for each material in my purchase requisition. Here I have the material data, material number, and material group, short description, quantities to be ordered, and delivery data, its valuation as put in the master master data and can be changed here if configured, source of supply, its status, the personal creation data by Mahmoud at 17 of September, release strategy, and it have a release strategy with, which is a direct manager, text, delivery address, and some other specs data. I click save. The notification called me that I have created a purchase position under this number. I'll copy this number. Now I, I'm trying to find this purchase requisition with a purchase requisition list ME5J. Here we have a list displayed for purchase requisitions. If I have a purchase requisition number, I can put here or the purchasing group, which is uh, purchasing this purchase requisition or any materials which is contained on the purchase requisition. I put here our materials. That's only the data I know in, in this purchase requisition. I found here uh, two purchase requisitions contain this data and the second one is our target first requisition I can double click on it and I can uh, display our first requisition uh, if I put its assigned number here I found our headed target first requisition and its status release status is still not possible to work with. Now I'll go to the transaction code which is can be released or approve this first requisition from ME 54N. I'll hit another document. I'll put my first requisition number and go to release strategy tab and I can approve here from here as a, as a direct manager on this first requisition. And I can save. Now I can proceed to do 
another function on this first requisition to complete our standard procurement cycle processes. We will continue with the another function on the another video. So be following up. Thank you very much.